Eric Stokes is very fast. Uh, we all know that. Let's just get it out of the way right <laughs> off the bat. He's a very fast man. Uh, Eric Stokes, cornerback, first round selection by the Green Bay Packers. And there's an obvious reason for it, right? One of the biggest reasons they lost that NFC Championship game was they just didn't have enough guys to cover the many receivers that Tampa Bay has. And if you're trying to go back to the Super Bowl this year, which they are, they are potentially going to have to beat Tampa Bay in the postseason. So getting another corner, it makes total sense. Uh, some people are very, are not very high on Eric Stokes. I was way high on Eric Stokes. I had him as my corner back three uh, in this draft, which is a lot higher than most people have him. And the reason for it is his speed. I mean, you can't teach speed. And I think that he has really good instincts. Again, you can go back and I've made a video about it and everything. But I want to talk about his first game in Green Bay, wearing a Green Bay Packers uniform, and what we were able to see. We didn't get a ton of playing time, but we got some. Again, I don't know how much everyone is excited to talk about Eric Stokes, but I, I feel like there's going to be two people. People that don't care at all about uh, hearing me talk about Eric Stokes, and people who can't wait to hear me talk about how Eric Stokes played, because he that just just kind of the player he is and the intrigue uh, in that player. So let's get into the film and let's talk about uh, what he did right and maybe if there's things he needs to improve on uh, after one game. So first things first, we have something like this. To me, this is a great example of when people ask, Jackson, why do you pay so much attention to speed? There's so many other aspects of what being a great corner is, and that is true, but this plays a good example of why I think it matters so much. So it's zone coverage. Eric Stokes is, and that's one thing I have to say that's a bit disappointing, is there was a lot of zone coverage. You know, teams tend to go about the preseason in two different ways. They either will play mostly man or play mostly zone. Every now and then you'll get a team that mixes it up, but for the most part, teams don't want to get too creative. They're just going to play one or two coverages and see how you play. The Packers mostly played zone, a lot of cover three zone, but still, you see where Eric Stokes is covering, and you see the route uh, that is going to be over the middle of the field, and that's the route he's going to try and cover right here. The player running the route is Nico Collins, who was a third round selection for Houston, so he's not just some scrub out there. But watch what's going to happen. Right when this play starts, you're going to see that... So, Collins starts running over the middle, and Eric Stokes at this point notices it. And, again, you would love for a linebacker to pick up on this. It's not really going to happen on this play, largely due to there is a play action. So, you know, Stokes is... You could argue he's out of position. I wouldn't. I would say this is just a scheme thing that causes there to be an opening. And now Stokes is going to try to close up that opening. But this is exactly what I mean when I say speed is important. You look at someone like, you know, everyone loves Patrick Sertan, and listen, his first preseason game was very exciting. I don't disagree. But what's also, what's different about him and Stokes is, while Sertan might have been able to, you know, not put himself out of position as quickly, uh, you know, maybe he would have read it quicker because he is such a smart guy. Eric Stokes is still a pretty smart guy, reads it pretty well, and also, he's just going to be fast enough to catch up. I mean, look, as you see, we go, it goes off screen, but by the time it comes back, there's basically, you know, very little separation right here. Now, a perfect throw when it's still a catch, but you see how big of a gap he closed. He went from being, you know, maybe four or five yards away to being just one yard away. So, uh, you know, very good stuff right there. It's a little blurry, so it's kind of hard to tell. But that's just a, a good example, I think, of kind of what he can do. Uh, also, this throw is not going to Stokes, so uh, that part doesn't matter. But, I mean, I really do feel like for someone like Eric Stokes, uh, you know, if he was slower, I think that, that the throw probably goes over the middle, and he was able to make sure that the throw didn't go there, which is, again, it's a small thing, but it's just an example of why his speed matters so much. Uh, so now we can move on to some other stuff. So we have something like this. What's really interesting to me, and this isn't something I expected, is Eric Stokes is seemingly a, like a really good zone corner, which, uh, you know, that's not something I really thought he would be super fantastic at. I wasn't thinking about drafting him for being a zone corner. I was more interested in him being a man corner because he has the speed to do that. He has the tools to do that. But I was actually really impressed with his breaks in zone coverage. So on this play, I believe it's quarters. It could be cover three. These things are kind of difficult to tell uh, when we don't get to see so much. But, uh, you know, so you have, once again, Collins is going to run a route. It's just underneath Stokes is uh, gapping coverage. So, you know, there is an opening there through no fault of Stokes, but watch what happens. So, right when this play starts, you see Collins cuts, and look at how quick Stokes makes this read and comes in. 
The one thing you could argue is that he could potentially get beat on like a double move. I could see that for sure. You fake as though you're running an out and then run deep. But again, this goes back to the same thing of for Eric Stokes, sure, he could potentially get you know beat on a double move, but he has the speed where if he does get beat a little bit, he can just come back. So again, that's why I like him so much as a prospect and as a player. Like this one's another one. You know, unfortunately, these things keep cutting off before we get to see the end of the route because the only way they would show the end of the route is if the throw went in that direction and the throw is not going in those directions in some part because Eric Stokes is doing a very good job of making quarterbacks not want to throw to him. So it's zone coverage again. It's, you know, he's covering the top of the screen. Very similar route, same player. It's a very similar play. But watch, again, right when Collins starts to step, and you know, you could argue, listen, Nico Collins, he's a rookie himself, he could work a little bit more on the route running, fake as though you're going over the middle, then go to the outside, stuff like that, but I digress. Uh, you know, Collins is now getting to the outside, and again, look at how Stokes so quickly notices this. Great closing speed as well, so it's good to know that, you know, I think that he's a better man corner, but he can play zone as well, so he's got both of those tools in his tool belt, which is good because Green Bay does like to play a good amount of both, so now you can play a good amount of both, uh, which, again... I'm more interested in his man, to be honest, because him and Jair playing man coverage opposite each other, I mean, look out, that's just scary, but even in zone, he does a very good job. And also, something like this, this has nothing to do with coverage, and again, we didn't get to see, we only got to see so much tape of him, right? So, we're working with what we have, but another thing that I like to see, quite frankly, is the fact that for someone like Stokes, one of his real issues was just physicality. He's not a he's not a tackler. I mean, that's not why you're drafting him. Is this big physical corner? You don't. He's not Richard Sherman, right? He very much is a cover corner, which is fine. That's his role. But you would like him to at least be able to not be a black hole uh, in the coverage game, and I or excuse me, in the run defense game slash uh, just a tackling game in general, and. This play, it was a little promising to me, I would say. So the running back is actually going to bounce things to the outside on this play. And you see Stokes, I've circled him in yellow. He will be the closest unblocked man here. Watch how right when this play starts. So I do feel like he does a good job of running in. And at this point, 30 for Houston. I mean, he's not going to try to continue to go towards the sideline. You're not going to win a foot race against Eric Stokes. And again, I'm not expecting Stokes to like lay him out here or anything. I'm really not. Just make the tackle. And as you see, that's what he does. I mean, a lot of what he did there was just force the running back to go back towards the middle where he has help and better tacklers in that area. That's really good, I think, of just, you know, make sure you don't you keep containment, get him to come to the inside. That's kind of what you want to do, I would say. Because again, know your role. You're not a tackler. Don't try to be. That was really good by him, I think. So yeah, that's kind of why I wanted to make this video is it's one thing to watch that, you know, to look at a player and see, okay, they played well, but they did stuff we already know they can do. Like, for example, uh, you know, with Trey Lance, he had a great deep ball, but my thought was kind of, well, yeah, I know he has a great deep ball. That didn't tell me anything. Uh, you know, but for someone like Stokes, if he covered a go route, we'd all say, well, yeah, he's fast. Of course, we know he can do that. We, we saw his 40-yard dash. We're aware. But what's crazy isn't the fact that he just does that, but, you know, he's done some other stuff that maybe I didn't really realize he could do, which is good. Uh, he's shown me some things that I, I didn't see as much in college. He's shown me great break. Uh, he had some great break in college as well, but he would also get a little out of position. Didn't see that here. It's one game, but it's it's promising. So, yeah, uh, that's what I think about Eric Stokes' uh, first preseason action. Again, small sample size, but it's fun to talk about this stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.